the Eagles just lost to the New Orleans Saints. 48 to 7! Now, I knew that the Eagles were going to lose this game. Like, it was pretty obvious to me. But 48 to 7? That's a little too much. <laughs> Uh, Carson Wentz went 19 for 33, 156 yards. Three interceptions. Oh, Carson Wentz was terrible tonight. Terrible. Drew Brees on the other side with 22 for 30. 363 yards and four touchdowns. Gosh. There, were, there was no pressure on Drew Brees at all. At all. No pressure at all. They, they were just letting... He had so much time to throw the football. So much time. And you want to take away time. Because we scroll down on my list. And we have Carson Wentz having no time. Where was everybody? He got sacked about four or three times in this game. It was crazy. Clement had a 48-yard pickup on the second kick return for the Eagles. Um, is our Maddox went down this in this game, which is not good at all. Is our training staff causing causing these injuries? These injuries. I I think uh, I don't really know because I want to hear. This is going to be the story in the comments. Do you think our training staff is causing these injuries? Personally, I don't... I think so. I mean, it's... I don't know how they could be getting these terrible injuries if the training staff has nothing to do with it. It's just... We cannot protect whites. I went over this earlier. We cannot... No one is covering. No one is protecting our starting quarterback, Carson Wentz. And that's your most important piece right now. Carson Wentz. I know he sucked this season right now. I mean, he hasn't sucked this season, but he hasn't been as good as he was last season and the season before. And it's season number 10 and his third season. But you still got to protect him. He, he might suck this season, if you think. But you still got to protect him. White's had a terrible interception in the first quarter. I don't know who he was throwing to. But he just lobbed it over. He had the, he did the same exact thing later in the game. He just lobbed it down. <clears throat> and then the other guy caught it. Was, he threw it way to the right of whoever he was passing to. I think it was Jeffrey somebody in Aguilar. I don't know. Adams had a walking t touchdown, and that's and that was his first NFL touchdown. This is why he got to run the ball, because he got like a 40-yard touchdown or something. He got a long touchdown. So that's why you want to run the ball. They, they, The Eagles have not been running the ball very often. Once he's just looking for a far-down pass, and that's why he hasn't that been that good this season, because he's just looking for long, long passes. But sometimes you don't want to go for long, long passes. Sometimes you just want to easy little, easy little handoff. Where was I? Adams got hurt in this game. Adams did get hurt. Which is not good because he had seven carries, 53 yards, and a touchdown in this game. He got hurt. You, you don't want to see that because he's really our starting running back now since since Ajay is hurt and Blunt is gone. And he's been gone this entire season. So that is why he is your starter. And that is, and that is why this stinks. That is why this stinks. Wentz was sacked three times in the first half. Three times. Our secondary stinks. It stunk for a while, but now it really stinks. Malcolm Jenkins is like the only good player on that secondary. <laughs> I don't know. The Eagles didn't come to play. They had no heart going into this game. I thought it was going to be like a, at least a 
ten point game. I thought they were at least gonna lose by seven points. They lost by forty one points. <laughs> The game call was terrible. This goes along with everything else. The game call was terrible. The Eagles' plays are so predictable. Predictable. Every single play. The Saints are predicting what they're going to do. Because they're so predictable. Jeffy was quiet in this game. They really, The Saints really got to him. Johnson had a nice tackle. The kicker, the kicker, Johnston, had a nice tackle. He should be on the defense. The Saints went for it on fourth and seven, and Breeze threw another touchdown. Then Hicks in this game went down. And that's my 19 notes for you. Golden Tate, five receptions, 48 yards. He was horrible in this game. He got the most receptions. Where was Ertz tonight? Zach Ertz, Carson Wentz, he is your target. <sighs> Zach Ertz is your target. You you only threw to him like two times in this game. And you decide to not throw to Jeffrey either? What are you doing? You decide to throw to Tate. Good idea. Five, five receptions, 48 yards, but I don't know. I don't know what to say, boys. This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. I have no words. I reckon it's currently four and six or two and three on the road. The Saints have a nine game winning sheet right now. I expected to lose this game. I didn't expect a blo expect a blowout like this, but I expected to lose this game. But <laughs> Losing 48 to 7? I can't believe I watched three hours and some, I don't know how long it was. I can't believe I watched three hours on the couch in my basement in my Eagles man cave watching the Eagles lose 48 to 7. If you saw my video before, before this, I'll put it up in the iCard right there. Um, I was just laid back on the couch. I was like relaxed and I moved. <laughs> I was so comfortable, and I moved, and now I'm here uh, in my studio. <coughs> Sorry for that. Um, expressing my feelings with you guys, and I love to do that. But losing forty-eight to seven is just enough for me. <sighs> I can't believe it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like if you like it, subscribe if you love it. Share so I get more subscribers. Do you think this Eagles season is still alive? Do you think they can still make the playoffs? Tell me your thoughts in the comments. See you next time.